Hey you, what's up everyone? Richard here, and welcome to episode 25 in my Payday 2 Weapon Guide. Today we'll be taking a look at one of the few non-military grade weapons in game. A rifle built around sport rather than combat, the R93. The R93 is a commercial hunting rifle developed by Blazer in 1993. It comes in a variety of calibers ranging from 22 long rifle to 375 magnum and the in-game depiction likely chambers a higher caliber round. The rifle includes many features that are uncommon in most hunting rifles, most notably a straight pull bolt. This allows the rifle to be cycled at greater speeds than a traditional bolt. In game, the R93 bridges the gap between the high ammo count of the rattlesnake and the raw damage output of the Thanatos. This lends itself to be very popular on the overkill difficulty. Base damage with the R93 will be middle of the road for snipers at 250. This gives it the ability to kill all non-special units with a single shot when fighting on overkill and below. On Deathwish, the maximum force responders will require two body shots or one headshot to kill. In addition to this, cloakers and tasers can be quickly eliminated with a single headshot, making it excellent at softening up assault waves from afar. Shields can also be killed with a single headshot if fired through their protection. Finally, bulldozers will only require three face shots in order to bring them down. While the straight pull bolt does grant a faster cycling speed than most rifles, it will still take a bit of time to cycle. Base fire rate will be a mediocre 50 rounds per minute, or a little over a second for every shot. Though the bolt action nature of the R93 will prevent you from clearing rooms quickly, it does provide a good tempo. The space in between shots gives you plenty of time for your rifle to settle, and for your sights to find a new target. Stability, as with most snipers, will be comical, with a default rating of just 3. The low stability shouldn't be too big of a factor considering the rifle should settle by the time it is ready to fire again. Sensible skill choices and a few modifications will reduce how high the weapon jumps with every shot however, making future target acquisition very easy. Accuracy will come standard at 18, plenty for long range sniping. This can be increased through skill selection and since snipers can achieve higher than 18 accuracy, it will make a difference on the larger maps. Magazine size will be quite small, the detachable box magazine holding only 6 rounds. While this will usually be fine for a sniping roll, it's best to reload whenever you get the chance. You never know when you'll need the extra shots. Like the other sniper rifles in Payday 2, the R93 cannot take advantage of Mag Plus, meaning 6 rounds is all you get. Reload speeds are nothing special compared to other magazine-fed weapons. The R93 has the fastest short reload, however, in the sniper category, taking just 2.82 seconds to complete. Long reloads will be roughly on par with the Rattlesnake, taking 3.82 seconds. An extra second to rechamber a round. It is highly advised to take advantage of the short reloads to save yourself some time. Total ammo supply is a bit low at 30 rounds. This will give you just 5 magazines in total. Combined with a weak ammo pickup, it's best to make every shot count. Try lining up 2 or more enemies in order to gain back additional ammo, if possible. If ammo is still too low, consider investing in the fully loaded skill. The base version increasing total ammo, and the aced increasing ammo pickup. The R93 is a fairly simple rifle, as far as modification goes, but for our build, we will be creating a long range rifle that can hit the enemy before they become effective. I'd suggest using the stock barrel, as the shorter variant will harm our accuracy, and the additional stability isn't much of a win considering the nature of the rifle. While the R93 deals more damage when silenced with Silent Killer, it is in my opinion too heavy of an investment. Since we will be using this at long range, the angled sight might be ideal if enemies get too close, although the utility of a military laser module might be more effective. For our optic, we will be electing the Theia Magnified Scope. 
Not only will this give us a huge increase in magnification, it will also automatically spot special units, giving your teammates valuable information. This ability is also invaluable when fighting on darker maps or through smoke, as you can easily score headshots with no visibility. Finally, the wooden body will give us a boost to stability. While not that big of an improvement, it will make each shot jump a little less and allow you to reacquire targets much faster. For skill selections, I would highly recommend both Rifleman and Sharpshooter, giving you higher accuracy, stability, as well as increased zoom. Kilmer can also be very helpful considering the smaller magazine size of the R93. I would also recommend Spotter, as your sight will highlight enemies automatically, giving you essentially a free damage bonus for you and your crew. The R93 has carved out its niche in the overkill difficulty as the go-to sniper, dealing enough damage to quickly eliminate a multitude of threats with ease. However, on Deathwish, the weapon's damage can become ineffective, and its small magazines can leave you in hot water if things go south. While the R93 may not be a weapon of war, its high precision and good damage will turn the tides in your favor, changing you from being the hunted into the hunter. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below or ask me directly on Twitter. My name, as always, has been Richard. Peace out, guys.